In this installment of my Pokemon Fairy series, I will answer the question, is Valerie a kimono girl? This theory is one I have heard quite a lot from people all over, but the main reasons why I believe that this is a thing is because of a number of factoids of information that I will provide to you in due course. Disclaimer, this is the theory, you do not have to agree with this theory, but by all means don't. But abusing other people in the comment section because they do not agree with your theory is ridiculous and makes you look like a child. So now, on to the theory! So Valerie is a leader of a Lavea City gym in the Kalos region, who specialises in fairy type Pokemon. Outside of her gym there is a sign which states that she is the maiden from a land with history. Not only does Bulbapedia agree with the fact that the land of history is Johto, but in Ecritic City where you can find the Kimono Girls, you find a sign which refers to the city as Historical City. This is because, of course, Johto is a place of history, and probably one of the most historically orientated regions of the Pokemon world. You can say all you like that it is Sinnoh or Unova, and they have the most history, but actually they just go back the furthest. For instance, Arceus, Palkia, Dialga and Giratina all originate from nearing the beginning of time and space, but that's pretty much it outside of the anime. However, Johto has the Burnt Tower, the Legendary Dogs, the Legendary Birds, Celebi, Unknown, and all of them have their own stories and histories. Now, if we were to assume that Kalos does actually exist, and this isn't some weird multiple reality thing, as we can assume that there is a person in one of the Pokemon centers talking about Blue, clearly Blue is in the same universe as the Kalos region, and clearly either that or there is an actual Johto Kanto region in the same universe as the Kalos region, then that can assume that the Johto region actually exists and Valerie can clearly come from Johto, the region of history. Ecritic City has the Burnt Tower, the Bell Tower, and amazingly enough, is the home of the Kimono Girls. Most of Johto's mythologies are connected to Ecritic, and even the Kimono Girls have a big old part that they play in the summoning of Lugia and Ho-Oh. Next we have to think about the Kimono Girls, they are all masters in the different evolutions, with each one of them having one of the original five evolutions. In Heart Gold, we even see a girl come running in and refer to the Kimono Girls as Big Sisters. So is this Valerie, or can we assume that if they have one little sister, they might have, I don't know, three little sisters, one for Leafeon, one for Glaceon, and surprise, surprise, one for Sleeveon. Which then poses the question, where is Pokemon X and Y on the timeline? Well, taken from the fact that we know that Blue visits Kalos, and the events of Johto happen three years after Kanto, now we can assume that either Valerie is the little girl we saw in the dance studio, or maybe she's a little bit older and a kimono girl in training. Now this would approximately give us about 10 years for Valerie to grow up and become the leader of the Lavea City Gym. Now I'm going to say this once more, that we are assuming that because Blue visited Kalos, that regardless of whether the universe we are talking about contains or doesn't contain Megastones, that there is still a Johto region, which regardless of its universe still runs reasonably in parallel to the Megastone universe. But for the purpose of this video, Megastones and all of that jazz play no part in this theory whatsoever, as we know that Kanto, Johto, Hoenn and Sinnoh etc etc, Unova, whatever, exist in the 6th gen universe. A couple of examples are, an old man in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, who lives in Morville City, tells the player that he was born in Sinnoh and his son lives in Kanto. A girl in Restaurant Lana in X and Y says she is from Kanto. Looker even turns up and he's from God Only Knows, but appears in black and white. And finally, a painting of Ecritic City appears in the Lumios Museum, meaning Valerie can come from Ecritic, as it clearly exists in this universe. So, so far we have come to the conclusion that it is possible for Valerie to have been a little girl or a kimono girl in training whilst the events of Johto were occurring. And for that reason we didn't see her because she was too young or she was in training or just wasn't there. We have also proved that she can indeed, and she more than likely does come from the Johto region. So I guess one of the questions we do have to ask ourselves now is why isn't she still a kimono girl? The time I will use the anime for information is by fleshing out the characters a little bit more. In episode 73 of the Pokemon anime X and Y, it is said that Valerie is a model as well, meaning she is a model, a designer, a gym leader and a kimono girl, which sounds like an awful lot of responsibility. Perhaps she didn't want to be a full-time kimono girl, perhaps she didn't have time to pursue it as a full-time career, to be like her sisters and be a kimono girl professionally? So along with her Eevee, she went to Kalos to pursue her dream of becoming a gym leader and a model, and obviously a designer, and that's where her Eevee evolved into Sliveon. There is a huge play on modelling in Kalos, 
with it being Pokemon's answer to France, so she would find herself more at home being a gym leader in Kalos than Johto, because she was able to follow her dreams in the fashion capital of the Pokemon world. Nevertheless, she still manages to call back to her roots, as her gym in the anime even looks like it belongs in the Johto region, as the colour scheme, the stage, the design, all look perfectly in place for being from Ecritique City. Now I know what a lot of people say, that she can't be one of the Kimono Girls, because that isn't what the Kimono Girls wore. Valerie is a fashion designer, she designs updated versions of the Furisode. If we look at a real life designer, for instance Tokuya Angel, who is a modern designer inspired by Kimono, we can see a number of similarities between Valerie's Kimono and some of the modern designs of Kimono. A Furisode is a type of Kimono with the longest sleeves. It is worn by young women before marriage. Although the marriage age is on the rise in Japan, so ladies will stop wearing their furosodes in their late twenties, meaning Valerie is younger than thirty, which is pretty obvious, but still obviously gives us some kind of time frame for when she could have come over from Johto. A recent resurgence in the popularity of modern designed kimonos may have inspired her character. Kimono girls bear a resemblance to Maiko, which is an apprentice geisha. They wear Maiko's long-sleeved Hikizuri kimono, with Maru Obi tied in Dorari Misubi, which means very long knot, Okobo sandals, and their hair is decorated with typical Maiko hair accessories. Maiko and Geisha are entertainers, and perform lots of different dances and instruments, hence the dance studio in Pokemon, where people from all around can go and watch these girls tastefully dancing and entertaining their guests. This also comes together with the Japanese name for the kimono girls, being translated into English as Dancing Girl. Geisha training traditionally starts young, with trainees taking a more experienced geisha as a teacher. They call each other sisters from then on. So wait, 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 wait. This means that the little girl in Heart Gold isn't actually related to them, which is why Valerie Myers do not match any of the kimono girls we've seen before. This makes perfect sense as Valerie may have been a trainee kimono girl, a little sister, and was given her Eevee to train as she also trains to be a kimono girl. Or geisha. The art of geisha is giving way to greater interest in pop culture among young girls. Valerie may have dropped out of the training to become a gym leader, model designer, or anything along those lines, and express herself more in the modern world. She may have even been rejected due to not passing the tests she needs to, or it may have just been too hard for her. So to conclude, Valerie is wearing a kimono, Valerie has an evolution like the other kimono girls, Valerie's is obviously a sleeveon, Valerie's gym in the anime looks incredibly similar to that of Ecritique City in the anime as well. You can see the style of the buildings, the colours, and even the pictures within her gym in the anime are incredibly alike to the scenes and pictures we see in the Johto series of the Pokemon anime. Everything we know about Valerie from the games hints in and leans incredibly heavily on Valerie being from Johto. And also a kimono girl. And finally we have seen evidence that she could have been a small child or an older child in training during the events of Kanto. So thank you all for watching this episode of my Pokemon Theory series. Again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.